Tomorrow we could learn if retired Navy Captain John Nettleton will take the stand in his own defense. Nettleton is charged with obstruction of justice and concealing facts in the disappearance and death of 42-year-old Christopher Tour at Guantanamo Bay back in 2015. Investigators say the two got into a fight before Tour's body was found in the water. Nettleton was having an affair with Tour's wife. News 4 Jacks reporter Allison Henning joins us live from the federal courthouse downtown where we learned a surprise witness could be called to the stand tomorrow. Allison. That's right. Today we learned Nettleton's attorneys hope to call a woman to the stand who was not on this original witness list. They say she came here to watch the trial last week and after talking with her, they learned she claims to be the last person to see Tor alive. All this came up after the prosecution brought up its final three witnesses. Do you all have any comment today at all? No, ma'am. No. It was a relatively quick day in federal court for the trial of Navy Captain John Nettleton. The jury was released just after noon. We first heard from a forensic pathologist with the military, Dr. Christopher Gordon, conducted an autopsy on Christopher Tor after his body was found floating in the water at Guantanamo Bay. While on the stand, Dr. Gordon described injuries he found during Tor's autopsy, including a bruise on his forehead, a small cut under his eyebrow, a bruise on his chest, and four broken ribs. Toxicology results determined Tor's blood alcohol level was more than three times the legal driving limit at 0.26. Lab results also found high levels of the antidepressant Prozac in his blood, a level that Dr. Gordon says could be fatal and could have contributed to a drowning when paired with alcohol. Dr. Gordon admitted he initially thought Tor's death could have been a suicide, but said there is no way he could certify that because there are no witnesses. Tor's cause of death was found to be drowning, but the manner of death was classified as undetermined. Two NCIS special agents also testified. Jason Boswell described the evidence found at Nettleton's home, including multiple splatters of blood that tested positive for Tor's DNA. Special agent Carrie McNamara, who joined the investigation several months later, said she found additional blood stains on the underside of a shelf at Nettleton's home. Those also tested positive for Tor's DNA. And right before wrapping up today, the judge asked Nettleson's attorneys if he does plan on testifying. They said that's going to be a discussion that they have tonight. But at this point, it is still a possibility. I also asked him that question as he walked out of this courthouse today, but he had no comment. Court will resume here tomorrow morning. The judge will first decide if that surprise witness who claims to be the last one who saw Tor alive will be able to testify. We, of course, will be here for that. Reporting live downtown, Allison Henning, Channel 4, The Local Station.